Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Portal Pod. This week, we got some major news about the Bugle. Tons of images and a bunch of the LEGO representatives got to get it early and get the reviews out. That's pretty sick. Yeah, we got to get in that land program, apparently. Some yeah. nice stuff right now. Well, I'm curious. Were they given a chance to buy it earlier, or did, were they just given it? Cause... They were give for free. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Oh, yeah. They got it free ahead of time. I cannot believe they gave it to all the land people, and it didn't leak until like the day before picks got announced. But I guess trustworthy people. Yeah. Yeah. Now that they got, um, yeah, I bet all the people who have left are just like, oh, man, should have stayed for the extra two weeks. <laughs> who was the one guy who was trash talking Lego and got kicked out of the land? Uh, man in our got kicked oh. out. Just too good left along with a couple others left with him. So I think they're just trying to kind of hype up land again. But who knows? Trying to get people back. Yeah. The set does come out pretty soon. It comes out May 26th for VIP members. It is $300, 3,700 pieces, is 2 feet 8 inches tall, and has 25 <laughs> minifigures. That's <laughs> insane. 25? I thought yeah, it was like well, 10 or 15 originally. It just, the list keeps going and going. I mean, it's insane. Absolutely insane. I mean, you have like seven civilians. The only weird thing is they have no um, MJ, which is weird because they have all these civilian characters. But um, the excuse they gave was that MJ is appearing in movies right now, so they couldn't do her in a comic set. Um, but we do have Mysterio and Venom and Spider-Man in this, so I'm not sure how that holds up. But <laughs> it's an amazing set. Pretty bizarre. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no secret box with Stan Lee, which a couple people were hoping. But um, it's hard to complain with 25 figs. 25 just, figs is just insane. Yeah. It also just towers over the modulars. I mean, it's just... It's a ridiculous set. It's great. They made it modular building. Uh, all the effects look amazing, like the explosions and stuff they got going on. And it's, it's so tall. It's so tall. I saw a comparison. Yeah, yeah I saw a comparison. It's... Compared to the other modulars, and it's just double the height. It's huge. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was watching some reviews of it, and the guys were like, "Man, this doesn't even fit in my shelf. I had to move stuff around." It is. It's so tall, man. Hey, Portal. It's insane. Are you ready to drop it? Oh my gosh, no, no. How? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I might though. That would be such a great drop. It would. It's so. Oh weird. no. <laughs> oh man this thing would i feel like it would crumble too because not only do the floors come apart but the walls can be taken off to get into the inside so i feel like it just shatter <laughs> oh yeah did you see that one of the floors is just a dedicated thing to the meme where spider Man sitting in a room with his uh <laughs> just with a picture with, of him behind him i cannot believe they did that i'm not gonna lie that was amazing <laughs> it's hilarious to see that they have some amazing stuff on this. Did you see um, J. Jonah Jameson's alternate face? It's like webbed up. Oh, really? Yeah. I did not As see a that. Raimi reference. The amount of Easter eggs in this set is just insane. There's all the newspapers are prints, which is really nice. And just, there's so, so much. I mean, with 25 minifigures in a two foot tall set, I would hope that it's some serious easter eggs like how much content can you fit into that they fit quite a lot the interiors feel like crowded in a good way you know kind of how like a bugle would be with they got like the room with all the reporters and stuff they got the computers uh, i love how james jonah jameson is in the middle of firing peter on his computer screen that was a nice <laughs> little thing and uh yeah amazing set i'm hoping this does well so we can get an oscorp tower at some point because oh, there is geez. references to that. Yeah, I'm already thinking of the next set. I don't even have this one. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, everyone should buy this set. How long do you think it'll take this to sell out? Oh, jeez. It's going to sell out with, like, VIP. Yeah. Uh, just, it's just... It's going to sell out so fast. I bet 24 hours. Oh, absolutely. 
Because while it's a more expensive set, they usually make less of those. So, yeah, it's just wow. Holy crap. We're gonna. <laughs> I mean, if the coins sell out in fifteen minutes, this thing is gonna be. Oh zooming. yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. And then I think my favorite Easter egg from this is they have a little rat in the side, and the creator of the set has stated that that rat is the one that saved um, Ant-Man from Endgame. So nice little reference <laughs> oh, there. I love the idea that they're just going to start like putting little obscure Lego pieces and just saying what they are, like, mm, yes. <laughs> and then people are going to sell them online, the rat that saved Endgame, just as a <laughs> meme. <laughs> but this specific yeah. set from the Daily Bugle is worth more because it saved Ant-Man. You should know this if you're oh, a real yeah. game. <laughs> a real Lego fan. <laughs> But, oh my gosh, gosh, Justin, insane. Will you uh, be getting this set? Oh, ooh, it's tempting. I haven't gotten modulars before, and how much is this set supposed to be? 300. 25 <laughs> minutes so for 300 sounds like a <laughs> yeah. really good deal. Like, I dropped, I think, 150 on this on the container set that I love just amazingly. And that has, like, I don't know, let's calculate, three, three, seven plus a big fig. So 25 for that much sounds right. Oh, yeah. And just so many new characters that are just so great. I, it, yeah. Man, yeah. I, have to, I haven't seen the full minifigure lineup. I have to go look at that. Oh, yeah. So they didn't even fit it on the front of the box like normal. They had to put it on top. They have all the minifigures. And this box is just <laughs> massive. Yeah. It's insane. I also love how they built it. So if you got more than one, if you had like two kidneys to sell, I guess, uh, you could just make a super tall tower because they're <laughs> they stack. So I'm sure someone at some point will just get like seven and see how high it can go. It's like when Nerf came out with the barrels that could infinitely attach to each other. So people just started oh, yeah. meeting by creating the longest ones possible. I think they were super, <laughs> like, flimsy. So it's like, mm, yes, I will make this a circle. Oh, <laughs> man. It's time for some serious memes. I am selling my gift with purchases this weekend to get this set. I'm finally, finally selling it. I think that's a good but, idea. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with some other news coming out about the, co coming out about the coins that we'll get to later. If you have good with purchases, might be time to might be time to sell. Keeping on the Spider-Man theme though, before we get to the rest of the news, I have the top ten most wanted sets, most wanted Spider-Man sets of all time. This list is from Brickset, which has the biggest Lego database at the moment. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of it. And uh, starting with number ten, it's quite a surprising list. So we're gonna kind of go through them and uh, rate our thoughts on whether we think it belongs on the list or not. Number ten, I'm sure it's on screen right now, is the Ghost Rider Team Up. It retailed for $20, had three minifigures, Spider-Man, Ghost Rider, and Hobgoblin, and uh, comes with an oversized bike. It's a weird inclusion for this list, I'm not going to lie. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I think I've seen that set. Personally, that's one that I would like. It, it seems nice and cheap. Uh, we don't get a lot of good Ghost Rider figs a lot, and just the perfect... This was the first one. With Goblin. Yeah, it's pretty nice, yeah. especially for a first appearance of Ghost Rider. I can understand why so many people wanted this. That's a good point. I mean, I'm trashing the set. This is one of the few on the list I actually have. So it is a nice set. The bike is pretty cool. It had a Daredevil reference. And Hobgoblin, it's also the only time we've gotten him. So that's nice. I, it's Yeah, it's a solid set. Uh, moving on to number nine, though, we have Spider-Man vs. Venom Symbiote. And uh, this is a surprising one to me, at least, because it's a polybag, and it's the most wanted, where usually it's like, well, polybags, anyone who wants it got it. But uh, 49 pieces, one minifigure, plus five Venom heads. And uh, it's a cool symbiote. I mean, it's a cool build. What are your thoughts on it? It's quite weird, but... There's so many nice pieces. Like, I can't think of another set where you get seven spider legs in it. Like, I can understand the value, because this is, what, a $5, like, $7 thing? And you're $5. getting six minifigure heads. No, yeah, six minifigure heads. You're getting seven spider legs. You've got... One of those nice eight piece or like wheeled eight bar connector pieces. It's just a really nice set in terms of just like unique and useful pieces. Is why I'd say it's the most useful. 
one of the most wanted ones. Totally agree. It also came with a super jumper, which was one of the first times we got those. So that was a nice, cheap way to get that piece. <laughs> the minifigure leg breaker, but <laughs> I don't know. Cool. It's, <laughs> the super, <laughs> what's it called? The super jumpers were always not too uh, useful, I'd say. Yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> At that point in time, we thought they were going to be cool. Um, <laughs> so if you wanted a disappointment, it's a cheap way to get it at least. Um, <laughs> moving on, we got another small set, which is the uh, Comic-Con Spider-Man in Black Symbiote costume. Uh, not surprises on the list, as it is an exclusive Comic-Con set, which is usually a lot of people want and no one gets. But the only exclusive print on this is the face. But I think it's pretty great. I would get it if it wasn't 400 500 bucks nowadays. Jeez. Yeah. It just makes you think you gotta start going to these places so you can get this exclusive stuff, because, I don't no. know, like... The pass for going to Comic Con versus the cost of like buying one of these things, you can make oh, some yeah. serious money. I was so hyped last year. I was supposed to finally go to San Diego Comic Con, and uh, of course it got canceled due to COVID. So <laughs> I was going to have my chance at getting a Comic Con fig, but oh well, missed out. <laughs> we need like a Midwest Comic Con, just for all the Midwest. <laughs> Oop, don't you know, we hate her guy. Welcome to the Comic Con, dear. No, oh. <laughs> what have I done? That was... <laughs> you want a free exclusive? We could just get like um Farmer Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> Farmer Spider Man, <laughs> just very polite, very <laughs> polite Venom. Oh, sorry, dear guy, got to eat your head. <laughs> Batman, but he has a snow coat. <laughs> <laughs> but Batman doesn't get cold. That's true. Well, he doesn't live in the Midwest. The bat snowblower. <laughs> the bat we should make the bat snowblower. Oh my gosh. I just imagine like Batman just kind of shoveling all of his neighbor's yards before going out, but with the costume on. <laughs> <laughs> his snowblower has like just, it's all black with a bat symbol on the front. <laughs> For some reason, the snow's coming out in black as well. Yeah, it has like, like an ink thing cool. that it just sprays all the snow. <laughs> yeah. Even more metal, it's programmed to put his symbol in his snow so he snow blows out. And then you just see the bat <laughs> symbol in the snow because it's been dying it. Oh my gosh. Uh. <laughs> we, need a, we need a mock for that. Gotta get uh, someone on that. <laughs> Uh, number seven is a pretty amazing set. It is from uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. It is Beware the Vulture. It retailed for $40, 370 pieces with four minifigures. Spider-Man, Vulture, Shocker, and a new Iron Man suit. Mark 47. Uh, oh, pretty great. I saw that. that yeah, yeah, back when I was... When, back when that came out, I was a bit short on money, but that was the one I wanted to get. I always see these Marvel sets, and they're like, oh, that would be cool to have, but I could also yeah. get this Chicago set, which is far cooler. But I mean, that exactly. vulture is so nice, and the use of the Nexonite shields to create such a unique shape is just golden. Oh yeah, I totally agree. Not to mention, all of these figs are new characters or new versions, and Spider-Man not, has not only arm printing, but dual molded legs, which we never Ooh. get in Marvel. So that's nice. I feel like this set would have been better as $15 without the van, but maybe that's just me. Well, Lego usually has to have something where it's like you have both sides so that you can play both sides of the story. A lot of people would be like, lit, I can just get like components and add them together. And that would be cool for an army building aspect, but they just, it's not something Lego does that often. That's a good point. I mean, it's a nice van. I just, I don't know. I have so many extra cars that I just have no use for at this point. I just have them towered up. Down into parts. I know, I just hate to do that, because I'm like, if I get a bigger, a bigger, like, layout, I would use them. Because they're nice cars, you know? I like them, but I don't know. I don't oh, know. yeah, the build for this one, if it didn't have, like, the... If you just keep it closed up, it's a cool little truck. Oh, yeah, for sure. And they did a good job. You could not put the webbing stickers on it and be exactly. all good. It could be a little delivery truck, honestly. Oh, yeah. Um, next up 
is a set that I go back and forth on whether or not I like. Great figs, but like a bad build. It's the Rhino and Sandman Supervillain team up. It was $40, 386 pieces, with four minifigures that are Spider Man, Iron Spider, Rhino, who comes with a mech, and Sandman. Unfortunately, the Rhino mech kind of sucks, and it's just a crane with a bunch of sand. But the figs are great. I don't know. I, I like the Rhino mech. Really? I think that was the only set in that line that I liked, and it was solely because. <laughs> Jeez, give me a sec. I'm hiccuping. That was the only right. set in the line that I liked because it had mechs. And normally, if there's a mech in something, it's just an instant plus five on the rating scale for me. Because it just brings it up to an average, and then everything from there is adding on. So, would you pay $40 for this set? Oh, I would pay $30 <laughs> for that set. Really? I mean, it's got the. It's got the Oh, well, I'd say so. It's got a 386 pieces. That's about $10 for price per part, more. Uh, maybe 35 would be more fair. Uh, just the Rhino Mech and the Golden Spider figure are just awesome. I do love that, yeah. The, yeah. I like the Sandman. I actually bricklinked him because he was great. Uh, <laughs> Iron Spider, I was trying to bricklink when I got all my Spider-Men, but he's just uh, hard to get because a lot, I guess, I don't know. He's hard to get. But yeah, it's a great set. Um, I wouldn't pay like the 80, 90 people sell it for nowadays. But yeah, looking at the Rhino Mech, I thought it was. I wish he had hands instead of stud shooters. <laughs> I feel well, like that would most help. mechs like that size can't really have hands without them being disappointing anyways. So you just sort of cut That's out the middle point. hand with the guns. And you get like... That's a good point. I mean, Rhinos don't have ha hands, so... I mean, you're not wrong. I'm trying to think about the Rhino from the comics, and he might not actually have hands. He might just have guns. So maybe it is accurate. I don't think he had I guns, but I think he had just like the weird hoof hands, and the white with the white studs from the stud shooters does work pretty good for that. So this set came out quite a while ago, which I thought was weird when I was looking it up because I was like, I swear I saw this at Walmart last week, and my Walmart still has a bunch of these. Retail price. <laughs> I was almost considering it getting it and parting out the figures, but then I'm like, ah, oh, it's just a lot of work. But I just, I mean, this set came out six years ago. It's crazy how Walmart just does not sell stuff sometimes. Which one? The Doc Ock truck heist? No, no, the Rhino set. Oh, really? That's yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so... Hey, if it's selling for $90 online, just pick it up at your store and resell it. That's a good point. Oh yeah, I'll have to check it out this weekend, see if it's still there. I mean, it should be. Six years. <laughs> we set it on the portal pod, so now it's gone. <laughs> oh no. Well, moving away from uh, jinxing myself. The next set is another car, but this one's it's unique for a Spider-Man set, I'd say. It's the Doc Ock Truck Heist. It's a $20 set, 237 pieces. Uh, it comes with Spider-Man, Doc Ock, and an armored truck driver. And... I do like all the explosion features the truck has in this one. Yeah, it's a nice one. And uh, was this the first time we got a Doc Ock figure? Like, uh, it's a third really time, nice but it was a brand new version. Yeah. How nice were the arms on all the previous ones? Because I like the arms on this guy. He used uh, the same thing the other two did. They pretty oh, much nice. used this up until 2010, I think. Ooh, what happened in 2010? What did we get then? Uh, they did like some weird things with like the mixel joints, which never looked good. But then I love the new bugle one. Have you seen the Doc Ock for the bugle? No, I'll have to go look at the images I have. Oh, yeah, they use the um the CMF thing that they used for the DC figures to kind of make them look like they're jumping in gray, and they just look Ooh. alive. It looks so good. Oh, that's nice. So good. I didn't even recognize yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, back to the truck heist. I mean, it's a good set. I'm not sure if it deserves the number five slot. I'd say we've seen some better sets already on this list, but it's cool. The truck's cool, and uh, I can see why it's wanted. Nice Doc Ock fig. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on, we got another. This is the other one I have, and I think this is a pretty great set. It's the what's the name of it? It's Spider-Man Spider Cycle Chase. It came with Nick Fury, Venom, and Spider-Man. Retailed for $20, had 237 pieces, and came with a shield hover car, a shield hover car, and a Spider-Man hover bike. 
What do you feel? This is a nice set. This is a yeah. well-rounded. It's got nice builds. Got nice characters. Like, oh man, that Venom figure is awesome. Even if he is the only like villain build. And then you've got just these really nice, slick-looking cars. I j I just love the Shield car here because it's just it works so well even as a standard car. And that's, I yeah. think, what be the staple of transforming things. is like, this is a cool car normally. And then, boom, it transforms. And that's something I think Alter Agents did pretty well. Oh, yeah. I totally agree. I also love how the trunk looks good closed, but can pop open to have a gun, which is a nice way to conceal it. Uh, so oh, Which absolutely. makes it, yeah, a nice feature. And like you said, Venom's like tentacle things look really good. I like the seaweed piece used for that. And, yeah, well-rounded set. I feel like all the builds help, and twenty dollars just seems like a great price for this. They were all new oh, things back in the day. Twenty dollars? My goodness, yeah. that's a good set. <laughs> yeah. This definitely, I feel like, deserves the number four slot. This is an amazing set. Definitely for would sure. recommend. Absolutely. Not that you can get it for twenty anymore, but <laughs> no, no, not anymore. People realize it's worth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's funny how much like third market sellers make, and Lego just doesn't see that money. Well, maybe Lego should just start continue selling sex. Like, if something sells good, just keep selling it. Yeah, it is weird how stuff gets retired. Because, like, this set definitely didn't stay on shelves, I feel like. I bet this one... Oh, no, that one quickly. disappeared. Yeah. I mean, any cheap set with amazing figures and great builds is just going to fly off the market. It is interesting to note how none of the sets we've seen so far have been from the recent two summers of Spider-Man sets. Well, Not a single one. Actually, I mean, I like some of the recent newer builds, but I can understand why most people don't. Like, a lot of the new Marvel sets just don't have the same vibe. Marvel hasn't come... Oh, hold on, no. That's DC. Hold oh, oh, jeez. I'm about to get myself <laughs> killed in the comments. I agree with I you on there. Marvel is not at the same vibe. Yeah, the Marvel hasn't had the same vibe, and Lego just doesn't capture the effect of the movie with their sets anymore. I think yeah, it's problematic. I agree. And they're going t like more towards the movie, and I think a lot of the movie sets have just been sad, is what I'll say, compared to like comic book sets, because there's a lot more to work with in the comics. Oh yeah, totally agree. Totally agree. Not to mention, like the new sets have great figs, but like. I don't need another spider helicopter, I feel like, you know? Just too many. You don't want a Venom T-Rex, Portal Master? No. I actually really like that build. But no. It was a good build. But I do really like that build. Like, that was a solid T-Rex. I'm not buying it for $60, $80, but it was a solid build. Yeah. Maybe you put that yeah. with the actual T-Rex's Lego, you know, <laughs> in the Jurassic Park line where you're supposed to be making T-Rexes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh well. I would have loved to see, like, one of those in, like, a normal T-Rex for a Batcave. That would be great. But, uh, missed opportunities, I guess. Ooh, that would be nice. The, uh, figures just keep getting better from there. As as we go to the number three slot, we have Doc Ock's Ambush, which comes with Doc Ock, Iron Fist, and Spider-Man. Retails for $30 and is almost 300 pieces. Uh, I quite like the build of this for a laboratory from a 2000 set. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I remember one of my friends had this set, and they sort of built it up, and it was pretty cool. Something I've always found weird about this set is Doc Ock has, like, a little... I don't know. It looks like Doc Ock is riding on a car, and it's, like, holding him by the back, but it's just one of his... Oh, it gets better than that. If you go on... Yeah, it does come with a buggy. And his arms can detach and reattach to the buggy, making it an octa buggy. Oh, jeez. Is that something they actually called it? Yep. Yep. That is a real play feature I am taking oh, from the set no. description. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, weird feature. But uh, I do think the figs look great. I love the inclusion of Iron Fist, who we've never seen since, which makes this yeah, set the... super valuable. The figs are really nice. It's just a laboratory. It's just such an interesting build i'll say like i can't understand most of the side builds and this was what 30 40 dollars um it was 30 dollars yeah that's what i thought 
it's also back when they included comics, so it had a small comic in it, which is uh, nostalgic. I feel uh -huh. like we just don't get those I anymore. I those days. I miss those days. Like, when you got, <laughs> yeah, like, too. a uh, Pharaoh's Quest comic, and it had, like, a little adventure of your set that you just bought. Man. Oh, yeah. I was, was like, so oh, it's so cool. So cool. It also really made sense for the comic book sets. It would be cool if the Bugle had one. It doesn't, but it would be cool. Ooh. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. I go furiously taking notes from the portal pod. <laughs> they come up with them. the bat snowmobile. Now we need to put the comics back. <laughs> oh, gosh. Make it happen, Lego. I want a bat snowmobile UCS set. Or I quit, Lego. You have one year. <laughs> one year. Man, wouldn't that be just amazing? So number two and one. All of them would quit Lego. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, number two is the uh, old bugle from a couple, quite a couple years back. It is called the. Um, it has quite a weird set name. It is. Oh no, never mind. It's Spider Man Daily Bugle Showdown. So makes sense. It retailed for fifty dollars. Uh, five minifigures, four hundred seventy pieces. It comes with Spider Man. And J. Jonah Jameson, and the exclusive figs are Nova, Doctor Doom, and Beetle, which we had never gotten before. So I think for the time, this was a good set. I would say so. Like, Lego builds have been constantly getting better and better, I'll tell you that. Like, from when I was a kid versus what we have now, it's pretty crazy how heckin' interlocked some stuff gets. But this is some nice building. Like... The little copter plane thing that they have, the beetle build, and just, they all look so nice. Yeah, I think so too. Along with the, just the um, minifigure inclusions, I think, make the set. And the fact that it, it's open back, but it works as a building for back when we got back then, I think it's quite nice. Yeah, and I don't think we got a lot of buildings back then compared to what we're getting now. Oh, yeah. Definitely not. I think it's, I mean, you can't even compare this set to the new Bugle, but for <laughs> without that comparison, I think it's a great set. Uh, definitely oh, absolutely. a lot cheaper. And I think it fits the number two slot. Number one, uh, maybe a surprise to some, is what I would put as my number one up until the new Bugle, of course. This list does not have the new Bugle, I guess we should mention. Um, <laughs> number one is the Web Warriors Ultimate Bridge Battle, retailed for $100. 1,092 pieces and seven figs, including Spider Man, Scorpion, Craven, Green Goblin, Aunt May, Spider Girl, and the Scarlet Spider, many of which were exclusive to the set still to this day. And I know many of you might be asking, but Portal Master Studios, where's the Dr. Octopus mech on this list? Where it belongs in the trash. In the gutter. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that set's awful. I feel like we make fun of that set every other pod. Like, that specific one is <laughs> its just so bad. It's just so janky. <laughs> Unnecessary. Like, who's like, hmm, Dr. Octopus, he's pretty close to a mech. What if we just gave him another mech with even more arms? Yep. And make the arms from the mech be as normal arms. So it's just undersized for the mech, oversized for the fig. You know, that happy medium medium spot the thing that all lego fans are looking for <laughs> i think if you had 200 dollars, this was a great set because you could get two and kind of combine them and then have a really great bridge uh the figures are quite amazing honestly if you had gotten two of these sets and sold one of the sets figures you could have almost paid for the first set like they go for quite a lot now uh craven's still exclusive to this day which is nice and Scarlet Spider's exclusive, Scorpion's exclusive, Goblin was exclusive, I believe, and Aunt May was exclusive. It also comes with a taxi cab, which is nice build, and uh, I feel like it deserves the one, number one spot, but what about you? I don't know. There have been <laughs> Spider-Man sets I've liked more, but I've usually been, like, honestly, a lot of the stuff that gravitates towards me is a lot more play feature style, stuff that I can really get in my head, and this bridge just seems like it, it's carried by its minifigures, which isn't a bad thing. Like, it's always nice to get a lot of good minifigures. 
but the appeal of the set isn't like, oh, I'm going to get this cool bridge. It's, I'm going to get all these cool Spider-Man figures, and then I can have a bridge as a backdrop to fight them on. So, I don't know. Yep. It's a myth, It's a mixed bag for me, I'd say. I feel like it's more of a display set than a city set, which is disappointing for a bridge. Oh, definitely. But I still think I'm a fan of it. I didn't realize, I thought it was a $200 set for some reason and always had that going against it. But I think $100 is a much better price for this. And Oh, um, yeah, $100 is a perfectly reasonable price for that. Yeah. I mean, three of these would be equal to uh, the new Bugle. So you could get a bridge and a half. <laughs> bridge and a half. A bridge and a half. And three of every Spider-Man fig in this. So make the whole Spider-Verse. <laughs> Man, it's crazy to see old Spider-Man sets that do not have Venom or Carnage in them. But uh, that's the list. Top 10. Any specific sets you would have added to this, Dragon? Uh, there would be a couple. There's... Oh, man. There's a set that's got, like, this Spider-Man helicopter build. It's really sick. And then they redid it again, and they did it perfectly. And this time they added this real nice Venom mech along with it. And that was a pretty recent one when they were doing the superhero mechs. Oh yeah, and honestly, I'm always a fan of Max. So, other than the Doctor Octopus one, of course. But I mean, there's a lot of cool <laughs> sets. But a lot of the stuff we were drawn to here today, I can reasonably say is the good ones. Yeah, I would agree. I'm surprised none of the um original Spider-Man trilogy sets are in here because I definitely would have put some of those for the nostalgia alone, and also being you know the first Spider-Man sets. But I agree, it's a pretty solid list. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, uh, that's all for our Spider-Man special. Moving on to, we have a little bit of news. A couple of things just recently came out. Uh, the first, and I think the most exciting, is the LEGO Monochrome set was leaked, which is, uh, it's pretty amazing. Have you seen this set yet? Uh, yeah, I think I have. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I sent it to you. Um, <laughs> I, I am so hyped to get Monochrome figs. It looks... I'm, oh, I'm so excited for this set. I probably won't get it because it's probably going to be overpriced. But um, oh, the set name is... Yeah. The set name is Everything is Awesome, which I like the Lego movie nod. And I love how every character has a different hair piece. I really want the pink hair. That just is so cool. Uh, it's quite a display piece. It'll definitely... Because I know third-party sites sell monochrome packs like this for $200, $300. So this is definitely better than buying those. Man, I used to have a friend who just like collected Lego hair. Like that's he bought <laughs> sets and then he would trade people for like different unique hair pieces and stuff. And he had this little container, and he had like forty different unique hairs, and it was hilarious. <laughs> Lego hair, something I never realized how useful it was until I started putting together civilians yesterday. I was like, wow, I only have war helmets. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Quite a cool set, though. Uh, it may or may not be for the um, Pride Month coming up. It will depend when it comes out. Uh, we don't know a whole lot since it was just leaked. But uh, it's quite cool. Some interesting color inclusions. Like, they included blue and light blue instead of including purple. Oh, no, purple's on there. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Okay, they have all the colors. Never mind. I would have loved sand green as it being my favorite color. But no, they got all the colors. So, Wait, if they don't have green, set. they don't have all the colors. They have green. They have green. <laughs> yeah, they have green. That was my bad. They have green. Uh, they just have two blues. And the pink is at the end. The, um, the order of the colors is really weird. Because you have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, which makes sense. And then you go to purple. And then you go to a light blue. <laughs> and then you have white. And then you go to pink. You go pink. Yeah, yeah which I don't get. Our combination. But other than that, I do like... You can rearrange that pretty easily. The first half it's of the scale, yeah, is a, almost a perfect gradient going down. And then <laughs> we get purple, light blue, white, pink. And it's just bizarre, to say bizarre. the least. It really is. So cool. Why well, just be like bungling some like inner meeting of those colors and it's like, oh, this is, why are they ordering it like that? That's so weird. Oh gosh, there might be. 
There might be. I found it weird that the last three colors, because the ones we were talking about that look weird together, is um the new color scheme of 21 Pilots' newest album, uh, which is just like a weird thing, because obviously that's not what this is for, but it's it's just a bizarre color scheme at the end there. Because they have black, brown, the rainbow, and then blue again. It's really weird. But a great set. Great set. We're definitely yeah, missing something, at... I feel like. Yes, we <laughs> definitely are. Uh, I'm curious if this is a gift of purchase, because if it is... Ooh. It is an 18-plus set, which is interesting. Uh, but the gift with purchase thing would be amazing, I think. Especially for people holding out to get the bugle. Ah, uh, yes. Colors. Very mature. <laughs> also, we're probably missing with something. Why it's 18 plus, but... Yeah. <laughs> we're definitely... We're, there's we're a... missing something. <laughs> there's just like this big meaning. You're like, mm, yes, colors. Rainbow. Red is the um the color of blood. And blood is mature, so we can't have that in. Green is the color of poison, and poison is mature, so we can't have that in. Um, any other colors? Orange is a mix between blood and the sun, so we can't have that, because the sun with blood is a bad combo. Too mature, so 18 plus, boom. <laughs> you look Explain. at the sun too much. <laughs> you die. This <laughs> gets skin cancer in your eyes. Oh, that sounds terrible. Oh, mm, well, oh great no! Great way to say that. Great way to say. It. Great way to say that. Uh, uh, I love yeah. the game. Great set. Great set. Great set. Uh, great set. Going back, a set was just leaked that gives me very early two thousand vibes. It is the new city stunts sets. Uh, only one was leaked with a a bike trick shot small set, and it has a power wheel function in the motorcycle. Apparently, uh, it feels like a two thousand set. I like it, but um. I don't I think like it'll sell. The box? Yeah, I think it's just the way the box is made. I swear I've seen that like Ring of Fire design before. I think that was an earlier City Line thing. So that might have sold good, and they're trying to like get on a gimmick with that power jump. Okay. It's interesting. It might be one of those like toys where you pull it back and then it is like spring loaded, so it zooms forward. That might be what they're going for. Oh, that would be cool. My thing with this is I feel like they're all going to be overpriced. Oh, probably. Because they so have the power the wheel. Of course they're going to be overpriced. Yeah, well, they have the power wheel, and then it looks like they also have the new base plate system, which has been overpriced. So that's just two evils, I feel like, in one set. Because what we're looking at right now should be, what, $10? Maybe 15 I I would border 20 Order but it's got wow. some big looking pieces on it though too. That's true. But two figs. Two figs. I don't know. It looks like I it know. has 130 pieces. Yeah, you're right. It should probably be more around 15, I'd say. Yeah. But you're right, there are some big pieces. We'll see. We'll have to get more images of these at some point, hopefully. Assuming Lego moves forward with it. <laughs> Interesting set interesting set we also got images leaked of a new um pixelation world you know thing the um what is it called oh the globe oh, lego art yes yes the globe the um world map in the lego art and i think this looks pretty great Ooh. it's huge yeah, it's but it looks good really good one. yeah it's almost like a puzzle to me more than a lego set to remember this thing all day. yeah that's a good point it does have puzzle vibes to it uh, I think it's really cool. I also feel like America, like North America, does not look like North America in it. No, it looks drunken just width-wise. Yeah. Like Florida and Texas are too close together. Yeah. And the I don't love the color scheme, I'm not going to lie. I don't like the water being yeah. green and red and blue. <laughs> What's up with just the random streaks of color in there? Like... <laughs> It is a bit bizarre. You could have done like a three color ocean of just like different gradients of blue. And then maybe like yeah. a green land would be pretty simple to make it nice. I think that would have looked a lot better. 
But uh, it's cool. I haven't gotten any of these um, painting sets. No, they just don't really appeal to me too much. I agree. I think if I had infinite funds, I would get some because they'd look cool on the wall. But it just looks like a pain to put together. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, like, I don't even understand how the instructions would work. They'd have to be, like, just row by row. lines of bricks that you put in in order. This is, like, yeah. a big base plate, right? And then you just stick stuff on. Yeah, it just seems like more of, like, a, a task. Yeah. I, there's a lot of, like, complicated stuff that puzzles your brain when you're putting together a Lego set made for a six-year-old. And then this just <laughs> seems like, all right, I put the one by one brick down, and then the one by one brick down, and then the one by one brick down. Ooh, I'm gonna put a green one down this time. Oh, back to one by one bricks for this entire row. <laughs> yep. It's something, though. It's interesting. It's also weird to me how they have, like, a black outline on some of the countries, but not on others. Uh, I think that's just, like, front side shading to give it a bit of depth. Oh, it's only you're on right. The countries. Okay, never mind. Maybe that's just... Okay. But it, end up, it ends up looking weird because they put it on, like, pixelated spots, too. You yeah. Got, like, squares there. In the middle of Africa. Problem. Yeah. I've got squares down in Africa, doo-doo. <laughs> quite a set. Quite a set. It is quite um, a set. Yeah. The... Oh, wait, hold up. There's alternate builds for this, too. Oh, jeez. What other alt? It looks like still the world map, so I can't tell what the other two are. Maybe it's just close-ups of Europe. Australia's perspective. <laughs> upside down. Oh my uh, gosh, that wait, is like, it? Maybe like just different orientations. Yeah. Like sort of sliding it. Oh jeez. Oh, I hate that idea so much. Imagine a stop motion where you just slowly move it along. It involves you rebuilding the oh, entire thing. Oh my gosh. Picture. As you just, like, oh. take the bricks off, rotate everything else down. Ugh. It'd be so satisfying, though, to just see it, like, it really would. quickly build. It'd be, like, one of those, like, electronic old-style billboards that are just, like, oof. That would be so cool. That would be if, cool. If I did that, we would be using that footage in every Portal Pod. Just oh, to, absolutely. Just to get my money's worth. <laughs> be like, hey, look at our new intro, isn't this cool? I feel like, wow, that's almost as cool as the one time we made this brick film. <laughs> Let's play it. <laughs> oh my Dude, gosh. The time we made this brick film? Here, I have it on my phone in the crowd, cloud because if I lose this, I lose 13 weeks of my time just <laughs> not making it. It's my ringtone. Whenever someone calls me, it pulls up this video. <laughs> I accidentally hit while filming midway through and then I screamed. Oh my gosh. I lost all the orientation footage. As I was walking home to edit the video, someone stole my phone and I lost all the footage. Ooh. <laughs> oh my Big gosh. Yike. Imagine. Imagine. This is also probably a $200 set. So, <laughs> there's that too. Quite a big set. I will be passing on it. But, uh, cool. Yeah, I think I will be too. Yeah. Uh, we got two last small leaks and then we got some big news. Real quick, the Captain Marvel figure that we talked about last week, uh, just really quickly, is not a real figure. It is um, 100% fake. So, oh, really? <laughs> sorry about that one. Yes. Yeah. It was fake. Um, I, I don't know. I get, It was just c confirmed fake. So, that's that. And uh, we also got a leak from Monkey Kid. It is a new panda costume figure with like kind of a zip-up thing. Um, and you can kind of see, like, his shirt through the panda suit. Uh, quite interesting. He uses the same panda head as before. Interesting that we're getting this in a monkey kid set, though. Because there's real animal creatures in that set. But this guy's just in a costume. <laughs> I don't know. I've watched through the monkey kid animated series, episode two, till season two, episode six. And they're really good. Don't put the video, but episode six is when the bootlegs end. Uh, but it's just really good. I highly recommend it for anyone who's, who's out there. It adds more context to the show, and it's a decent show overall. I mean, I'm going to have to check that out, like, then. Oh, absolutely. It's a, it's definitely worth a watch if you can get your hands on it. It's no, like, season one through three Ninjago, but it's still a pretty good heckin' show. Yeah. 
And then, la- well, second to last big piece of news is the LEGO VIP coin. We finally have a release date for the last one. It is May 20th. And along with that news, LEGO said that some of the other coins will be restocked later this year. So if you're trying to get this as a resale, uh, be warned. It might have a lot more than the last one, so it might not sell out. Uh, I know you haven't gotten any of the coins up till now. Will you be getting um, this one or any of the future ones? Uh, I'll definitely be getting this one. And if they're restocking, I'm going to get the space and the octane one. Because I realize they're just cool things to collect. So if I'll get this one, and we'll see what it's priced like in terms of resells looking like. And I'll probably end up keeping it if they're going to do restocks and it's not going to go to the just through the roof. But they're just cool coins overall. And just having them as like a little display piece is always nice. Yeah, I think it's good that they're making more of this coin, assuming that's what they're doing. Uh, I don't love that they're making, that they're restocking the other ones, only because, like, they advertise it as this limited edition thing that is no longer a limited edition. But uh, good for people who missed out, I think, so you don't have to pay two, three hundred dollars per coin. Not good for the people who paid two, three hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, I know. Big, yeah, imagine spending that much <laughs> just enough stuff you're collecting and like, was like, oh, well, we're going to actually restock because so many people <laughs> wanted them. So I guess you just sort of got to deal with it. Sounds like a you problem that you spend that much money. When I um when this news came out, I checked eBay, and um, eight coins had sold the morning before the news announced for a hundred dollars each, which means someone had a horrible day. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah. I finally bought my coin. <laughs> Amazing! Oh, they're restocking them. <laughs> no, no, that was my college money. <laughs> Insert Vader scream. <laughs> No. Unfortunate. Poor souls. Of course, if you had $200, $300 to pay for a coin, you're probably okay. Yeah, if, if you're buying a coin for $200, $300, the fact that you wasted your money honestly isn't too much of a problem at that point. It's like, oh no, I dropped a penny. <laughs> <laughs> it's ironically, it's just Lego buying them all up so they can restock it later. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, last piece of news is um, in a couple weeks, June 1st, Lego Masters US will be airing. Uh, pretty great show. It'll be on season two. Definitely recommend watching it if you're into crazy huge mocks. And of course, Will Arnett is hosting it. Uh, we're way behind all the other countries who have been having theirs for like episodes now. But uh, <laughs> the US will come out at some point, June 1st. And that is it for the pod. Anything else you want to add? Uh, well, last week we deceived you with the Infinity Saga Wakandan thing. I thought it was all like those Star-Lord guns. Nope, it's just trans blue cheese plates. I'm completely blind. Wait, are you sure? I saw, yep, I saw a leaked image because it can stand up like straight, just like in the movies where the tail would be down, but the cockpit would be at like a 90 oh degree. Oh my gosh. Like, so like a flying L. You're right. And I saw the bottom like, oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> I forget where I saw it though. We spent 10 minutes talking about that on the list. Yeah, we spent 10 minutes making fun of how many of those guns were on there, <laughs> only to be completely dead wrong. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. Our bad. <laughs> That's on us, I guess. Whoops. Um, <laughs> hopefully we're more accurate in this pod. I swear, every week we make fun of something, and every week, something we made fun of ended up being wrong. <laughs> so maybe we're too harsh but um i think that's really just a good reason to be more harsh on sets you know get them to be the best they can <laughs> and yeah that's it for the pod though we should have a stop motion competition coming out very soon uh hopefully and stay tuned for that smash that subscribe button because why not <laughs>